bring you up to date right now on a Three Cares event, and this is something that we are hoping uh, everyone can share for us because we're trying to help as many people as we can. We want to thank everyone who joined us for our third Masks for Connecticut event this morning. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanin is showing us that it took a big team of volunteers and our great partners to hand out more than 50,000 masks in New Haven. Drone 3 was up in the air early this morning, but some folks beat us to the punch. People began arriving outside Science Park in New Haven around 4.30, two and a half hours before today's three care event was set to begin. But everyone was in a great mood and proud of the way Connecticut is coming together. It's a great feeling. Everybody's just coming together and doing what they can to help each other, and I think it's wonderful. It gives you hope. It, it doesn't make you afraid to go out in the community when you know that you can have, you know, the mask and the protection to stay apart from one another. Thank you. You're welcome. And once Masks for Connecticut began, our small army of volunteers got to work, passing out tens of thousands of free face coverings, along with 6,000 bottles of hand sanitizer. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Everyone who showed up got five free masks, and the large majority of folks simply pulled up in their cars and rolled down their windows. Have a good day. Thank you. All right. But today, for the first time, walk-up lanes were also available, so people without wheels could still stay safe and healthy. All the way to the front, please. Volunteer Faye Williams says she's happy to help. She enjoyed basking in the glow of everyone's love and appreciation and says today's event proves if we all do a little, together we can accomplish a lot. We are going to get through it, and everybody's helping everywhere. Every time you hear of a need for volunteers, someone's there. Someone's there, no matter where it is. From those working to those of us that are working out here as well, there's someone there. And we just cannot say enough about these great volunteers. Right now, between Masks for Connecticut and the initial program, Masks for Heroes, these volunteers have now handed out approximately one million masks. Unbelievable. Also, today could not have been as successful as it has been without our incredible partners, 99.1 PLR, Yale University, the Jewish Federation of Greater New Haven, and Bob and Amy Stefanowski. Also, a huge shout out to the police officers with the new haven police department they've done a great job keeping us all as safe and healthy as possible during this great event and the best part of all we're really just getting started reporting in new haven today i'm roger suzannan channel 3 eyewitness news